what it's gonna guys today i'm gonna show you how to set up a very basic decal sort of nothing too advanced but a very basic one now first of all what is a decal so look at what we've got here we've got these sort of blood splatters on the ground if we're moving around we've got these signs on the walls first g we've got these bullet holes what and we've also got this door now they basically work like a projector so imagine like in a cinema or whatever you've got projector projecting the movie onto a screen but if you were to grab one now you are to grab that and it's projecting straight down so if you push you can see the bounds if we move that over a surface you can see it's really pulling that texture resolve that again it's like moving a projector you want to move that around so you get to the point you want and move it over if you start getting it to do something like this disappearing on the surface you just need to scale it you can scale this in any way you want. If you want it to be like a small surface, you could just scale like scale it down this way. Go and place that wherever you want. So I'm going to show you how to set that up today. Not quite right. There you go. The first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to grab the texture you want. So I firstly recommend grabbing something that's a PNG, so it's already got an alpha background. For example, this. So if we grab this and sort of drag it to our desktop and then drag it from our desktop to the software, to our content browser, that'd be in. Right click it, break material, M underscore decal test. Open that up. Make sure you've clicked in an empty spot. Where it says material domain set that to deferred decal blend mode change it to translucent because it'll have a go at you otherwise translucent the a channel plug into opacity and you're done now if you've got like four five different textures you can set it up like a normal texture so if we go to the door for example you can see i've got all of these textures in here so set it up like a normal texture but just do uh, material sorry set up like a normal material but you know set it to deferred decal and translucent so we can add a little bit extra to this if we want. It can one left click and make it uh, quite wet. So I'm going to say 0 0.1, not too wet uh, or too um, glossy, I guess is the uh, better term. I'm going to one left click again and do a slight bit of metal. Apply. And you are done. That is how you set up a basic decal. So let's delete this one here, drag that one in, and boom. We have this new one we just made. Drag it so it fits the surface and increase the scale so it fits. And there we go. Now, there's a few problems you can have with them. So one I already went over was rotating it and actually get it to sort of the right location. Um, if you have an asset you don't want to, to receive decals on that asset, you can so click on what asset you want. So let's say this cube. Let's say we've got another cube here. Let's say this is a player. Do, do, do. I'm walking over this. It's a very thin player. I'm walking over this uh, area. Uh, da, da, da. I've not been hit by blood or anything. And I've now got blood on me. Why is that happening? Click the object. You don't want to receive decals. I always just type it in. But if you actually go down to where that says it is. So it's in rendering and advanced. But I type it. So I just write in the word decal. I then untick that. And it won't receive those decals. Another issue is you can see these bullet holes are disappearing at a distance. To resolve that. Click the bullet holes or whatever decal you don't want to disappear from a distance. Right in screen in here and you'll see fade screen size. I'm going to go a bit wild and just divide that by 10. So 0 0.001. Now as we get further away, they won't disappear. Or they will eventually, but it'll take a while. See that? Even though door and everything disappears. It's based on how big they are. One last thing is if you don't have something uh, that has an alpha background, you can basically just set it up into here you just set it up with a handmade alpha so if we want the background to be cut out this is what we made so if i actually go into uh, photoshop to make this all you got to do so in this scenario where i just want the backdrop of this to turn invisible 
I will paint the parts black where I want it to turn invisible and where I want it to show, I will paint white. Now, if you wanted certain parts to be partly transparent, you can make it any shade of gray in between. But for this scenario, we're just gonna make it black and white because it's easier. And when I export that out, I get something like this. And then you can use this as the alpha instead of the alpha channel. And click apply. And there we go. Now, there's a lot more advanced things you could do with decals. This is just the very basics. Um, quite often, you will see like grime on the sort of ceilings or coming off from the top of walls coming down. That'll all be decals, stuff like that. Grime on the floor that comes out from the edges. That'll all be decals. And it's just a, a really good way to add a bunch of extra detail into your scene. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you in the next one.